Hi, I'm Jong. I am a portrait photographer and a nightlife videographer based in Brooklyn, New York by way of Manila, Philippines. And this is the one and only Maggie McMuffin. She's a burlesque and sideshow performer and she was also the 2023 Miss Coney Island. It was a big, big thing in the art scene here in New York. In this video, I was very lucky to borrow her for a little bit to test a few more headshot techniques that I wanted to refine because practice makes better. I typically do my headshots a little bit differently. I really like that very, very shallow depth of field look, but that's not everybody's aesthetic. That's not useful for all accounts. So I try to work on some of the more traditional looks. So lighting setup number one is one of the more traditional headshot beauty shot setup. It's just the simple clamshell setup. That means one light source above and another light source beneath the model. In this particular instance, we have a reflector bouncing the light back up to the model to kill more of the unflattering shadows underneath the eyes, the nose, and the chin. So you would use this if you want to showcase as much of your subject's face as possible in the most clean and flattering way. I had this one on a white background and because I had the model a little bit close to the background and my light source was fairly big, it was able to also light the backdrop, giving it a little bit more of a white or very, very light gray look. So this was great because we wanted to make those pink colors, fuchsia colors of her wardrobe pop. Before I go to the second lighting setup, I want to talk about the gear real quick. And as per usual, I have the Fujifilm 50S2 with the 45 to 100 millimeter f4 lens. In most of my other headshots and portrait shoots, I was using the 80 millimeter 1.7 at wide open whenever I'm trying to do my portraits. So that way there's a lot of fall off, a lot of bokeh when I'm shooting the face. But again, since we wanted to do a more traditional look this time, we want everything in focus. I started the shoot at f4, but eventually ended up at f8. So at f8, a lot of your subjects face and head will be in focus. Second lighting setup is more of the contour hard light film noir look on a brighter background. So all I did was replace my large softbox modifier with a silver magnum reflector, move it a little bit towards 45 degree angle to the model, bounce a little bit of light back to again kill the shadows under the chin, the nose and the eyes. But because the light has been narrowed and angled, the light doesn't fall off as much to the background, making the white background a little bit more gray. We're getting a little bit more contour of your subject's face because of the new angle of the light. So this is good if you want a little bit more drama in your shots. If you don't want to make it super simple and super clean, you want a little bit more gradations in the shadow. You can use how the shadow falls as part of the message you want to convey in your image. And then for the last lighting setup, we switched to the black background and added a, a second light. So I wanted one light again with the magnum reflector in the back of the model, lighting the hair. So backlight, rim light, hair light. So we really want to accentuate Maggie's red hair. And I wanted another light with a smaller magnum reflector, but just pointed towards the face. So. We expose the shot a little bit darker this time so that highlights from our two light sources pop a little bit more. We were trying to emulate more of that old Hollywood lighting techniques with hard lighting and dramatic contours. So, and this is what we came up with.
Thank you very much for your time. If you haven't yet, I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel. Share this to your friends. Anybody who is interested in, you know, camera gear, thoughts, photo shoots, videography. And I also drop weekly live art performances of my friends, the best burlesque sideshow drag musicians in New York. I occasionally get to film them. And whenever I do, I always love to share their art form with everyone. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yes, indeed. Thank you. CC Ryder.